it actually feels great that I finally have the whole video just to talk about Euro USD. Now I feel the real freedom. Now we can discuss the Euro USD as much as possible, more in depth and more in details. And let's see together how we can trade the Euro USD this week. All right. So what happened? We can see that there was a growth from this resistance level. Uh, the market did not reverse on this resistance level, as you can see right here. This level. Uh, the last week's signal was proposing that there will be a reversal right on this resistance level, uh, hoping for the market to respect this level. However, we can see that the resistance has been breaking out again. This, uh, if uh, I'm not mistaken, is due to the some news about possible deal between uh, USA and China, uh, the commercial deal. However, uh, let's see now what next, what, what can we look for? <clears throat> so, uh, if we want to be really more um specific about the euro usd that we can see that here we had a resistance zone and the market did not actually break this zone yet indicating that there will be actually in my opinion there will be a growth and continuation uh, to break out from this resistance right after retesting the level on this previous support level which was a support right here let's see this more in depth actually <coughs> by the way this is here <coughs> So right now we are on daily candles. Let's go to the left and see if this level was actually a key support level or not. So we can see that was not yet. We can see that it was a strong support level right here and right here. Uh, it is still not a key support level. We need to see it as a key support level. And indeed we have it right here and right here. That's a key support level. And therefore we can actually rely on this level that there will be a retest. Oh my God, look at that. That's fantastic. Uh, even this one here and right here. That means that this level uh, was previously a support level and the market seems to be going down to retest this level and then it's gonna continue growing more up. So let's go back to the current date and let's see more about the EURUSD. So again, that is daily candles we're talking about. Let's now see, oh, before that, right now we're on the, we're on the four hour chart, right? Sorry. Daily candles. This is daily candles. Uh, let's see uh, if we can rely on the trend lines to find where we can expect the next reversal. So simply I'm going to draw the support line, the support trend line like that. And as you know, guys, this line, we can use it anywhere. Look at that. If I just drag it from the support level right here, from the support trend line and put it on this support level, we can see that this level has been also respected as a support trend line right here and even right here and right here. It was fantastic and it was perfectly fit with this trend line. So this line here, I can use it, just drag it and let's see if I can rely actually on it to see where I can expect the next reversal. <coughs> so if I want to put it right on this level here, and the reason I place it is here is I see it's uh, touching this resistance trend line and this one as well and this one and here and right here. So currently we can see that the market has broken out from this resistance trend line. Again, we can expect for the retest of the level like that and then the market is going to continue its bullish momentum. However, not for so long. Again, this is daily candles. Now, after drawing the trend line on daily candles, let's go to the four hour chart. Now, what do we see on the four hour chart? We can see that the market has completely uh, made a strong bull uh, bullish momentum uh, early Thursday, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, Friday also. So let's look at the left. Oh, look at that. Perfect here. And it was also a strong resistance right here. And even right here, we can see it was also a strong support level and right here. Now, what do we need to do with the EURUSD? That is the question. In my expectation, the best we can do is place a buy order uh, if the market did not exit this uh, resistance zone. To be honest with you, I want to give you a specific place uh, or specific level to place your buy order, but I found out that actually this is actually offensing some of the followers that they don't want the price to, they don't want me to give a uh, specific levels 
uh, because if the price will reach this area and reverse just like one or two pips before touching this level someone is getting angry someone's getting offended I have no idea why however let me just avoid doing that and let's just give you um, a approximate level about the reversal so let me get rid of this one and let's see uh, So if you see the price actually reaching this uh, resist this previous support zone let me just be accurate like that if you see the price actually entering this uh, previous support zone I think it's gonna be a wise idea to, to place your buy order but don't keep it for a long time because we are having also a strong resistance right here now what I'm expecting from the euro USD that is going to continuous growing uh, continue growth uh, and the momentum until it reached this previous resistance and then from this point the euro usd is actually going to fall down all the way until it hit this previous support level right here so let me just check this level which we have drawn recently uh, let me erase this one here and let's see this one here uh, let's go back to the daily candles right now and by the way I have to mention that I'm doing all of this just to show you the right way that we can do some market analysis using my style that is what I'm doing if you don't like it or if you don't agree with it that's totally fine uh, it's just up to you if you want to apply the same way to analyze the market and find the best level for your uh, trades okay so we can see that we had here a strong resistance level and we have here also a key resist a support level and right here let's continue just to see in the past if this level was uh, good and we can rely on it and my god look at that we had here a strong resistance by the way when you see the candle rejecting like this from this level it's indicating that this level is actually very strong and the market has has been rejected and there was no breaking out once the market reached this level the candle immediately fall down indicating a strength from the sellers to push the market down that is actually what telling us um, what is telling us what is being sorry that is actually what this long wick here is telling us looking more to the left we can see that uh, yeah we had it a strong resistance and a strong support level the whole point is this level is very strong I don't think the market is going to revert uh, sorry to break out easily from this level that's why from my expectation uh, the euro USD should be good to start buying once it's entering this previous support zone and then we're going to short the euro usd once it's entering again uh, this resistance zone so let's make it short uh, we can start buying let's buy the pullback buy the pullback all right let's make it clear on the level or actually on the, let me just write it like that that's better all right so buy the pullback for the euro usd it's gonna continue like that for the pullback like that and then buy, uh, sell the reversal now we can sell reversal of course it will be followed by the midweek analysis again this is daily candles so if the market did not be wasn't slow actually you know end of December and the New Year Eve uh, the market is not really that active that's why um, I'm thinking that this sig sell signal will be only activated or triggered by next week or act the week after it's not gonna happen this week in my opinion that's why uh, I give you these two signals to buy the pullback and then hopefully if the market will reach this level we can start selling the EURUSD again uh, the market will be very slow during this uh, period because of the New Year Eve and the holidays therefore please be careful when you are trading the EURUSD so uh, that was my expectation for the EURUSD uh, in the end uh, thank you guys for watching